Hello. So I have just finished putting away all the parts that were over on the cart here that had to go over into those two sections right there. And uh, we're full, except for some large drawers at the bottom. Uh, so yeah, bike, vehicle parts is, and it's still supposed to have the wheels and tires in here and then windows, doors. Yeah, not gonna be enough room. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna take this one over because this is just the minifigures, uh, accessories and stuff because the used minifigures are going in the boxes uh, while I was doing that though I had a problem with my scanner which this is my main scanner here uh, I was holding it over there while I was putting some parts away and, and I think I held the button down and then it did this weird beep and then it stopped working uh, so I pulled out my instructions which I'd already pulled out to get the new ones working and I couldn't get it back to the way it was supposed to be so I'm not sure what I did um, I did uh, get to the point where I just basically plugged in one of the new ones, which I probably could have done with the old one, directly into the scanner and then into the computer as opposed to going through the wireless base, which I would prefer because there was times where I was putting away vehicle parts with the cart here and the vehicle part was going in those white drawers over there and I had to like remember the number and come back, which is fine, but I don't want to make a mistake, so I'd rather have a scanner to do that. Uh, but now I've got to uh, price the file and then upload it. Uh, ben is here again, and he has already gotten a bunch of minifigures ready to go right here, uh, uploading. Those are all the bags that had empty out since he had been here last. That information is on this laptop, so we'll get that uploaded shortly as well. And then I'm going to tackle these parts, the like construction-type vehicle parts. And then after that, I'm not sure what, maybe the... These parts here, these are going to, both of these are probably going to not be able to go over there because they would either need, maybe the large drawer ones could go over there, but some of these are just wouldn't fit in drawers. So doing these next makes sense because they can go over to the white drawers. Same thing with these bases over here. Now these propellers, like this one, would need to go over there probably, but the rest of those could fit into smaller drawers, or at least a number of them. I'm not even sure if this one would fit in. It's pretty wide. It would fit in a large drawer for sure. Um... So yeah, that's what we're up to. And then we can do tires, tires and wheels and wheels. That's the only thing left after this. And then I've got this small smattering of pieces that came in prior categories that I'll get to as well. But that's all I've got at the moment. Uh, we'll be back later with another update. Thank you. Hello. So we got all those parts put away. I've gone through and I've cataloged all this. This is uh, two categories worth, I think. The construction type stuff and then these fuselage pieces uh some of these were very difficult to get through but some of them are quite nice in price i haven't actually priced them yet but i kind of noticed some of that as i'm going through this stuff needs to get put away and then priced and uploaded that's not going to happen tonight uh over here the only thing i have left then before the big stuff is those propeller pieces so everything else is done uh and ben has been really working hard he was here uh, over in this area, get over here, and uh, you'll notice that one category isn't here anymore, and that's the hair and hats. Uh, it's also not over here. Uh, he went through and it was working on some more figures. We got like droid army type stuff going over here. Uh, these are a bunch of CMF figures as I understand, that are ready to go up uh, at some point. So like the next time, and I think probably these too, the next time we need more figures, we can put some of those up. He had some of the CMS stuff out, so he built some of them. Uh, but we actually went through all of the hair and hat pieces, got them counted and uploaded, uh, along with being priced, and put away. And so... The put away was a little bit of a challenge, I thought, or I thought it was going to be, and it wasn't the easiest thing in the world. But we did it together, and it worked out really well. So here is, there's only two or three in that drawer. But as you can see, all these drawers have these trays in the front. Uh, and then actually, you can see here, I've got some pieces in behind, and so this you can see how the tray comes out pretty easily, holds the 12 different parts, and then I have room in the back to put other parts. Now this one was cut, uh, was my first try at figuring out how to space all this stuff, but there's some pieces back there. Uh, but yeah, and there's a few empty slots. 
We tried doing it um, so that we didn't put the same color of hairpiece in the same drawer more than once. Um, black and this uh, bright light yellow was the more difficult ones. We did have this one in, but this one here is a slightly different feel of plastic. Plus it's got the black ears and this one's plain. So we kind of felt that was okay. But every other drawer, we tried to keep the colors somewhat separate. Like here we've got a black, but then this one's black and it's also got the silver headphones on it. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm, I'm really excited about this. This is going to work out really well. And just a huge amount of stuff. I mean, we're now over 9,500 lots. And I think once we get rolling and we get the rest of the minifigure parts up from the pandemic era uh, Legoland duffel bag purchase, I have a feeling that we'll be over 10,000 lots. So that's kind of been a goal of mine, hopefully by the end of this month. We will see how that all works out. But yeah, that is all I've got at this point. I still have to uh, cut more of these in half to do more of this. I also have to decide how low I want to go. I don't think I want to go any lower than this level for this sort of thing. But I do have some spots above uh, that are empty. I think mostly down here. And then I've got to get this column set as well. Uh, and plus, if I can go to this level, then I've got, you know, at least two more drawers here. And I think this drawer, yeah, that drawer is empty. And then I could always move some stuff around as well if I wanted to. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, that is what we've been up to tonight. So it's got a lot of work done. And uh, I'm not really sure what the next task is other than the normal. But uh, there might be some other stuff that I need to work on that will come up. As always, thank you very much. Uh, I noticed earlier we are 950 subscribers. So that's kind of a nice even number. Getting into that home stretch up to a thousand, I'm kind of excited about that because, of course, the uh, the set giveaway, which where did I put? Oh, it's over here. <laughs> it's turned sideways because I had to move it. Ah, drop the set. All right, we'll just put it right here. So yeah, that is the set. Thousand subscribers. We'll give that away to somebody. We'll do a separate video for that. Kind of excited about that. We'll figure out what else we're gonna do as well. Um, but yeah. So if you've got questions, comments, concerns, uh, anything like that, suggestions, leave them down below. Send me a message uh, through uh, any method that you can get a hold of me, and we'll see what we can do. As always, thank you. Hello. So it is Wednesday. I did not get all that much done down here yesterday, although I did get the parts put away that were on the cart. As you can see, they're no longer there. And those two trays are the remnants of an order that I pulled that uh, had come in yesterday. Uh, it is the 11th today, and I'm at 18 orders for the month, so I'm down four orders from being able to say two per day. But that's still really good. Uh, I've also gone through and sorted the propellers. Uh, so I've got all these different categories of propellers. I've got these two pieces up. I kind of understand why this one was in there, because uh, that's what you would attach a propeller to. Uh, and this one was just stuck to one of these pieces here, so those need to go elsewhere. But otherwise, not too bad. So we're going to go through and quality control these, sort them by color, and do things like that, and work on getting those up. But after that, I've just got these few loose pieces that I've already dealt with, and then all this is going to be the only thing left. Um, and I still have the parts that went to other categories. That doesn't really count. And this is the stuff that's stickered and printed. Uh, I think... Wait a minute. There's something else in there. Oh, yeah. So this is stickered and printed, and this is string and other pieces like this. I'm really kind of dreading this stuff. So I might hand pick through this and deal with some of it and look some of it up and see how it's listed. Um, it's kind of dreadful, and it's probably not worth much at all. So I will probably deal with it, but I'm not, I'm not going gonna, gonna to worry about it too quickly. Uh, and then I can work on tires, wheels and tires and wheels. And like I said, I've got a plan for how to do that. Uh, I also went over and did some work over here yesterday. Uh, in addition to putting parts away over here, because a lot of what I was putting away was larger pieces, um, I've got this last column set up. Uh, it is uh, got the cardboard shim down there. I've taken out the two tops for the middle units, so they, you know, or the middle and the bottom unit, so it's the same height now, which makes makes me good, makes me happy. Uh, and then I've actually cut a bunch more of these. I still have some more left to do. Uh, I've also decided that, now you see there's some pieces of cardboard. These are actually the 
cardboard dividers that I cut and I use these because if I use the color side out they're very noticeable those are drawers that I want to move the contents of the drawer because uh, I decided that these three drawers down here that have these in them and this one actually not really that much but I do have the stuff behind it um, I decided we're just a little lower than I wanted to be for these parts these smaller part drawers so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reassign everything in those drawers to a different one, preferably one that doesn't have anything in it yet, like this one. So I can just basically move the tray over. Um, and then I do have uh, some of these that I basically said. So I'm going to I'm going to use. I think these are the levels I'm going to go through. Yeah, because this one has other parts in it, so. This one has that in it. That's fine. We're going to move this. So it's going to be this, 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 and this. So four levels are the ones that I'm going to have for those trays. Um, I'm not sure how many trays I have. I don't think I have quite enough because I've got those over there. But I do have additional advent calendars upstairs that have never been opened. Uh, and I can just bump that up the queue a little bit. Oh, I do actually see there's one up there too. I can grab for a couple more um, and use those in here. Uh, I do need to get stickers printed for the last column over there. Uh, but yeah, we're moving along over here pretty well, and I'm happy with that. Uh, I will probably see Ben either tomorrow or Saturday. I'm not sure which. In either case, we will cover what goes on after he's been here, or perhaps during. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, that is all I've got right now. As always, thank you very much. Hello. Wednesday night, and I've got uh, all the... Uh, Rotor blades and helicopter blades and all that stuff. All sorted out, all put away, all priced, all uploaded there in the store. Uh, this is the smallish reject pile. Sadly, I had to reject this one. I only had one of this color, but there's some bad marks on it in one spot. Let's see if we can find it quickly. Oh, down here. It's on this blade here. Let's see if you can see them. I don't know. It's hard to see if it's coming through on the camera or not. But yeah, I just didn't feel comfortable selling it. It's not worth a ton, like 7 or 8 cents anyway, so it wasn't a huge loss. Um, I did run into a problem, however. Uh, as I was uh, uploading, and then I was done with that, and then I was working on just the, the, the little container of random pieces. Uh, and it turned out that one of them, which was I was pretty sure was in inventory, I couldn't find. I was like, well, that's odd, was saying that it wasn't didn't exist already. So I went looking where it should be, and I found it eventually, and I was just like, okay. So I went and looked for it in my files, and I had trouble finding it because I've been having trouble with the, uh, the hard drive. So I can only look in certain places. Uh, I did find it. It was in a temporary location, which, you know, once I get the hard drive situation fixed, it will, that won't be an issue anymore. But... Because of that, uh, I realized that I, there was a whole bunch of other stuff in the file. So I checked it all. None of it was in inventory. So somewhere along the line, that particular file, I didn't upload. It was priced. It had locations on it, but it never got uploaded. So I have to be careful about that sort of thing. But I then uploaded it, uh, uploaded the other file afterwards. Uh, I also added the last few of the Mario parts that weren't in inventory yet from the last part out we did at uh, the, one of the lug meetings. So the two little eye pieces and the one printed like barcode piece, those were in inventory now. Uh, there's only one other seller in the world that has those three pieces. They have one of each and they're in South Africa. So I now have 13 of each up, so maybe they'll actually sell. I'm not counting on it. Um, and now... Uh, oh, and I also have these uh, pieces here. I want Ben to check for color just to get his opinion on them before I actually upload them. Um, and now, tires. That's the only thing left. I mean, besides these here, which I'm just going to hold off on. And then the printed pieces, which I'm still mulling over in my head exactly how I'm going to deal with those. Uh, but yeah, so now the next thing is the tires. And so that's going to be quite the big effort. There's a lot of tires there. Uh, and then there's even more tires here because I stopped taking them apart uh, very quickly, as a matter of fact. Uh, it was just too much of a pain. So that's what we're going to work on next. And uh, we will see how things go after that. 
Uh, there probably won't be another update tonight, but that's all right. And I did find out that I will be expecting Ben on Saturday. So uh, I'm on my own for a couple more days, and I will see you in the next little update. Thank you. Hello. So I have dove right into the tires, and these are the sorted tires by general size. Uh, the largest tires, obviously, and then a little smaller, a little smaller, and it just keeps getting a little smaller as we go down through the line. Uh, and I've got the real thin ones here. Uh, this was also thin ones. These are kind of thin, actually. I think this one technically should be here in the size order because I think they're a little bit bigger than those. Uh, and then these thin ones I put a little separate, and actually that one probably would go down there. So there's going to be some mistakes I can see. But that's all right. We'll catch them all. Uh, I've got the white ones still over here, and then these two here. Like this one is not in great shape, and it's kind of funny. If I drop it on the table, it kind of bounces a little bit. Uh, this one, however, is in even worse shape. It bounces more, but it sounds more like an actual Lego piece because it's, it's hardened up even more. As opposed to something like this, which sounds more like a rubber tire. Anyway. Uh, that is what I've done so far, and the next step is going to be to tackle them. I'm probably going to start with the large ones. Either that or maybe just grab these because they're all the same. It should be easy to track down. Um, and that is what I'm up to. So, um, I have not checked uh, subscriber levels recently. But, the last I knew, it was 8.53, or 9.53. So, very excited about that. And uh, I'm just going to end it right there. Thank you. Hello. We're actually doing another update. It's late Wednesday, which means it's technically Thursday. But again, I haven't slept, so it's still Wednesday. Uh, I've made it through two of these totes of the wheels and tires. I still have two left. And these are the heaving piles of wheels and tires that I have. Uh, I pulled out one of each from each of the size categories I have over here for just tires because I wanted to have them as a reference point for these uh, and so pretty much this is this and this is this and then these four here are these four here and then these four are those four. I also found uh, a dually in a larger format wheel which I was a little surprised at but there it is um, and so I put that a little separate. And I've also been noticing that in this size, some of these black rims, they're newer Speed Champion sets, they actually have the, the hubcap things on them. So I'm pulling them off, putting them in with this. This is a broken piece. It's supposed to have a little pin on both sides, but you can see the one side there on the left is broken. Uh, but yeah, that is what I'm working on. Uh, I'll get to those two totes tomorrow. I'm probably going to need uh, new bins for most of these i think these two here this one and this one can probably go without a new bin as the smaller ones probably can at least for now and then we're going to become the tedious process of going through and further sorting them out and then comparing them like what's better should i sell it as a tire or a tire and a wheel so yeah there's lots of stuff coming for that i also have all the wheels but they're staying put for the time being because if I don't, well, I suppose I might have a wheel here in the tote that I don't have over here. So I might have to sort those as well. We'll see. But my thought was to go through and compare the the wheels and tires together to the separate and see what is better. But I might have a wheel that would go with the tire that I have um, that would be better. So we'll see. It, it's going to be a long process, and I may give up at some point. I might just say, okay, <laughs> this is it. We're just doing it the way it is. So we'll see how that all turns out. But that, there's a lot of interesting stuff in here. Like, I thought these were kind of interesting, these thinner ones with kind of like this tan uh, wheel on the inside. I imagine that's from, like, uh, well, maybe the uh, Explorer's sets or uh, Pharaoh's Quest or maybe even Indiana Jones. So, yeah, there's some stuff like that. But that's where we're going to end it now. I'm going to go upstairs and get a snack and relax and then go to bed. So, uh, as always, thank you very much. And we will be back tomorrow with more updates. Hello. So it is Thursday. And I did what I was going to do. I dumped off those containers, the, the eight major ones, into these eight containers. 
A couple of them weren't quite full over here, but it did anyway. I did keep one piece of each in each one just to kind of start me off for the sizes. As you can see, I did not find any more of those in the third tote. So I have one more left. Um, and then I'll be done sorting the wheels and tires combo. I will probably then need to also sort the wheels, which will be a little more challenging because without the tire, it's going to feel like different sizes, I think. And there's some that I'm pretty sure this size and this size wheel are the same, but they're on different size tires, so they go into different spots. Uh, so yeah, no more of the real big ones, but we'll probably have a couple more in the next tote would be my guess. Uh, I'm probably going to dump a couple of these off as well. This one is getting pretty full again. This one is not too bad off. Uh, the rest of them probably can sit for the time being. Uh, so yeah, that is what we're up to now. We've got the last tote of the wheels and tires to sort. Thank you. Hello again. And through the magic of video, that last tote is uh, sorted. I only dumped out a couple of these totes, so a lot of these are just uh, additional. But as you can see, a lot of these categories are quite full. I just tucked this off to the side. I need to combine them into one location, probably upscale the size of the tote in a couple of cases. And then we'll probably come back and we'll show everything in its final form before we start dealing with them all. Um, I'm still uncertain if I'm going to do the same thing with the wheels right away or not. Uh, I probably should, but I don't know if I will. Uh, so yeah, we've got all the tires over there, wheels and tires in a couple of places here, and we're going to get to combining those. Uh, we did also find one that, uh, yeah, not Lego. It's got this weird plastic outer thing that's kind of sort of rubbery, but not really. And the inner part, I compared it to a Lego piece, and it just doesn't look quite right. So yeah, not Lego. But not bad. Um, there was, uh, you know, a few pieces that I was putting in other categories, like, you know, the wheels with the metal axles, uh, a lot of hubcaps. This one actually says Chevrolet Camaro on it, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, so we've got the larger hubcap pieces and then the smaller ones. Uh, I was pulling those off when I noticed them. And a few other random pieces. There's actually a, a one by one uh, medium blue tile that was I found in this bin here only because it was sticking like out of the edge and I happened to catch it after the piece that had been put in over here. And I was like, that looks weird. And so I pulled it out like, oh, that doesn't go. So, and we only ever found one of this piece. So I'm probably going to be a little curious about this and look it up. My guess is the tires are standard and there's a different rim that they've gone on or perhaps that rim is for larger tires normally but they figured out that they could put two on it I'm not really sure it's possible that some child has done this and it's not actually a lego intention so but yeah that's what we're going to do now we're going to combine everything up and we're going to see what we have for quantity thank you hello so here we are and we have condensed them and a couple of them have gone into the next size larger tote that i have uh, but most of the rest of them are okay. This one is just barely, I think if I spend some time equalizing it, maybe, I don't know, it barely fits in there. But I'm not going to put it in one of the larger ones. Um, but yeah, everything else fits inside one of the shoebox size ones. I just used this different shoebox that I had. It wasn't quite as large, but I didn't need it. So now it comes the project where I'm going to choose one category, and I think I'm, or one size, and I think I'm going to start with the large ones. Uh, and put everything else away, uh, deal with the large wheels and tires, and then large tires, kind of look them up in tandem to see what's better. And then also, if I have, like, tires, which would be better off with a wheel, I could come into this tote to see if I've got wheels. Now, I mean, clearly, I have some that are large. So, yeah. Uh, and I might do a quick sort on these as well. I probably would not put them into quite as many categories as I did the tires and the wheels and tires because again as I'm pretty sure some of these have the exact same interior as other sizes and they just look bigger because the tire is bigger um, so yeah see like this green interior thing looks very similar in size to this one but the tire itself is just chunkier so that's probably not going to be quite as many categories. I'll probably do four or five on that one. Uh, also, these thin ones, 
which I was separating out uh, without the tire they're going to be the same as like this category over here I'm mean, seeing where it's the very similar size um, it's just these are thicker here same design on the end it's just it's very thick piece and this one is not so yeah I think not having quite as many categories for the wheels would be fine so that's my next project we're going to probably do a little bit more and then I'm going to break and get something to eat and we'll come back with some sort of an update later on tonight thank you all right so I went ahead and I sorted out the wheels um, more categories than I was originally thinking but that's all right I've also got these four here. I think they're wheels. I don't really recognize them at all, so I'll have to look those up. Uh, I've got some reject parts that I could just tell were broken or just too damaged to sell. Uh, lots of hubcaps appeared and additional of uh, this sort of thing with the metal pin. Found a Technic piece. Uh, I've got uh, these, which ended up in the category I'm not really sure if they're wheels or not I think they might be engine pieces I'll have to look that up uh, so yeah this is what I've got I mean clearly there's only like a few here and two or three in there and not too many in here so we might condense it but we'll see uh, this is what we've got and I'm going to go do something for food now so we'll be back again with another little update later tonight once we start working on whatever it is that we're gonna work on next thank you Hello. It is late on Thursday, but it is still Thursday. It's not midnight yet, uh, but I'm winding down. I made it through the large tires, wheels and tires, and wheels. Um, there was a little bit of overlap because, as I mentioned, some of the uh, larger tires can fit on what appears to be a smaller wheel. Uh, they're just thicker. These are the ones that will be added to inventory. Um, it doesn't look like a lot, but I did a lot of comparing to like, in this case, it's going to be better to sell this piece together with the wheel and the tire, I believe, uh, just from what's available and sell through and that sort of thing, than selling the two pieces separately. Um, although I do have a single tire separately because I only had three in lime, uh, but that's all right. Uh, I have four in black and four in light bluish gray. But it, still, the lime was the better choice. So I went through that with all these, and they're all kind of stacked up. And a lot of them are probably going to end up over there in those white drawers because they're so large. Uh, there was one piece I already had in my, in my inventory, and that's this one. I was kind of aware of it when I saw it. Uh, because I found, uh, when we were sorting bulk, we found some just mint condition copies of these. Plus the, uh, the hard, kind of like a foamy, hard rubber tire that went on them. So those went into inventory, and then I'll be adding another one of the wheels. But yeah, that's it for tonight. I'm going to uh, go upstairs and relax. Um, and tomorrow, first thing, I'll probably come down and get that stuff put away so that I can upload it. Uh, it's a good chunk of money, though. This is like almost $200 right here. A lot of these are worth several dollars a piece. I mean, some of these smaller ones down here, they're only worth like 50 cents or whatever. But several dollars and a lot of the rest of this stuff uh, is not uncommon so we'll be happy to get that stuff into inventory and then we'll start working on the next size which will be over here these are the the tire size that i'll be working on next these not quite as large but still larger than these uh, i may have to pay attention to these though because again the wheels might overlap a little bit because i mean if you look at this one and you look at that one, the hole is pretty much the same size, which is this one is a smaller tire. So there's going to be some overlap with the wheels, which are all in this tote right here. So that is what I'm up to at this point. Uh, I'm going to cut it off here, and we'll see you on Friday. Hello. It is Saturday afternoon, and uh, Ben just arrived. We're getting some stuff done, and I'm about to dive into these wheels and tires this is like the next size down from the ones i was doing before but i did notice that like so this is like the larger wheel and or tire and this is the next smaller one but the thing i noticed is that the the wheel on both of these is the same it's just this one happens to be on a tire that's really large and this one is very thin so i kind of have to do both of these sizes together uh but i mean i still have them divided out i've got 
Uh, these two are, or actually there's three sizes. I have to double check that too because this is the size that was larger than this, but then these still have that size. And then this is the same wheel in all three of those sizes. So yeah, I'm going to have to go grab more tires because I've got three different bins of wheels and tires and I'll have to get, uh, I don't know if I'll have to get another bin of just the wheels because I think they're probably all right here. So that's kind of what we're going on at the moment. Um, I'm also going to, before I even get to that, I've got some packages that I'm going to open up and we'll do that in a separate video. Uh, some of that is some stuff that is BrickLink. I think actually, yeah, two of them are BrickLink. One of them is not BrickLink. And uh, it is some stuff that Ben and I both got from a seller in Germany is one of them. The other one that came from Poland is at the post office box, but I couldn't pick it up because they were closed already being Saturday when I went. So in any case, uh, that is what I've got going on. And we'll come back and do a video for that haul as soon as I can. Hello. So I've set up a camera stand and uh, extra light. And I've got these three packages, which you may not even be able to see. There's three from there, but here we go. There's three packages here. These two came from BrickLink, and this one came from Mercari. We're actually going to open the Mercari one first because it's on top. It's also the smallest one, and it's more of a curiosity item that I decided to pick up. It was pretty cheap, um, but yeah, I'm just like sometimes I just get uh, this thought in my head that like, yeah, I could get that. And I'm sure other people have had that, and it's not even just with Legos, it's with other things. This is a Nexol Knight Pocket Book of Powers. And this one is in fairly rough shape, as you can see. There's kind of a warble here. But it seems to be complete, and it would be more for reference. Because it's got pictures of all these shields that occur in inside Nexol Knights. And I just thought that was kind of cool. Uh, so it's a little extra little thing that I got. But like I said, I did not pay that up much for it. I think it was under $8 shipped, give or take. Um, this is, uh, we're going to put that on last. This one came from a BrickLink store in Colorado. And, uh, this is something I just happened to notice while I was doing some research for some other things. And decided, like, okay, well, why not? If the price was good, we're going to do it. And it says, this side up, which is, you know, it says perishable, which is not. Oh, we got a packing slip. Oh, and interestingly, they didn't uh, do what I said they could do. Okay. So I bought, uh, I believe it was seven of these, the Pirate Ship Playground set. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, seven of them. Uh, they were only seven fifty dollars apiece, uh, which I was very surprised at. And uh, I had said that they could uh, actually de-box them uh, for cheaper shipping. I think the shipping was only like $8 a piece or something like that. Or $8 total, $8 or $8.50. And so they sent them in box. Because I was expecting to get uh, packages inside of this that were open. So, and of course, a whole bunch of small bubble wrap and a little large bubble wrap, which I can certainly use in the store. But yeah, that was uh, that purchase. Again, a little surprised that they didn't actually debox it like I said they could. But it's funny because they said in their terms, like, just message them and they can do that. And I did that and I had to do it as a request invoice and came through and then they just sent me the whole box. So, hey, whatever. I guess now I can decide if I'm actually going to part it out or if I'm going to hold them. So I now have options instead of automatically parting it out. Uh, this box came from Germany, and they've well taped it. They've taped it enough that I'm not 100% sure where to cut to get it open. But we'll figure this out and get this open. I think that looks like a pretty likely spot here. How about this one? All right. There we go. So, oh, interesting. Okay, so the box has got this interior. This is kind of neat. Oh, it like, like lifts it up a little bit, what's in here. Uh, what do we got here? This is, uh, there's some shields in there. I have a feeling this was just used for packing. Oh, nope, there's some parts in here as well. Uh, these are some stickers. Or cloth pieces, I'm not sure which. Uh, this looks like... So this looks like it's a, a, a piece from their store. And we'll show that there. MK Bricks. It's got a QR code and everything. So perhaps now 
all of you out there could like go check out their store by scanning the barcode. If I just leave that on screen long enough, you could probably pause it. Although I do know that sometimes when you pause, it puts stuff in the way. So I'm going to lift it up to the corner here. Maybe that'll help when you pause it. I don't know. We'll see. And it looks like there's another piece there that I didn't order, I think, that they probably tossed in. Uh, and then here, an official Lego bag. It's one of their zip seal bags, which is pretty cool. And it looks like that's what they put all the pieces in. Now, this is mainly why I went to the store. I bought all they had of this. Uh, I already have a bunch of this. But now I think the most anybody has in the in the world is like maybe 50 or to 100. And I've got like five, six, seven hundred of them. So that was kind of an investment to see if that'll do any better. Uh, and then this, a bunch of this little plant piece, which I believe is one Ben had wanted. Uh, there's a, probably a dozen or so of those in there. And that looks like everything. I think it was the store in Poland that I has not been able to, I haven't been able to pick up the package yet that had a whole bunch of stuff in it that we uh, ordered. So we will see going forward, but that is the, the haul at this point. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you very much. Hello again. It is late on Saturday after midnight. Ben has left. I had forgotten that I was actually gaming tonight. So I did my gaming tonight while Ben was down here working. So I haven't gotten as much done as I wanted to. I've got a few items ready to go in a file uh, and I've got some more stuff kind of spread out kind of organized fashion style here and we're getting to all this stuff and I kind of know what the next steps are for at least the stuff that's directly on the wooden table. Uh, however, Ben did a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, he worked on getting the legs from the build a minifigure Legoland hall in a file and then when I was done gaming I we helped put them away. So there's a lot of legs now over here in different containers. We actually filled some of these with leg pieces. There was only one slot here, so we put some legs in them. So we closed that up. So I've got one more slot here where I could put something else and more slots in different places. Uh, this particular leg is just a plain black leg. I already had some. So when I added the two together, it needed this kind of a container here in that drawer. Uh, more legs went into some of the drawers as well, just because the quantity was low. We did some combining of things too. Uh, and then when he was done with that, because I was still busy, he basically took it upon himself, which is a great thing. He um, started working on the air animals. Uh, and so we came over here and he had a file ready to go for air animals. And so a lot of them in, are in these drawers here. And you see that we've got animals in there. And you can see we even combined some. I probably would normally would put the yellow one in the back. And I can swap swap them. It's the same location number. Um, but there was a couple of standouts. I don't know if I'll be able to find them quickly. Uh, here's one of them. Uh, this one in the front, this Phoenix thing, I think is from Harry Potter. And that was uh, $15, he said. And there was also another one. I don't know that I'm going to be able to find. Oh, maybe it's right here. The uh, plain yellow parrot here in the front, he said it was $12, so that was pretty cool. Um, I had, didn't even actually look at the file, but that's all right. Uh, he knows the process for pricing that stuff at this point, and so yeah, we went ahead and did that. So the next time he's in, we'll probably he'll probably work on torsos is the next part. Um, and uh, he's probably said he wants to leave heads for last because he thinks it's going to be the worst one to do, and he's probably right with that. Uh, because I'm not really going to be able to put them in the same drawer. I really need to separate stuff because they're so similar. Because they're all yellow. Or most of them. I see there's an orange one there. And there's probably a couple other ones. I see there's a white one in the second drawer down. But yeah, they're going to be problematic because there's going to be so many. Uh, but he was also working for a time on doing uh, construction workers. And he has a bunch already in bags here. He's got some construction workers. He's got some additional droids over here. Some more specific droids. Uh, these are super battle droids. Um, I think these are assassin droids. Just all sorts of stuff like that. <clears throat> uh, and he was then working on firemen. I guess I think he said it was the next one he was working on. So yeah, he's got some more stuff coming for that. Always more things coming. Uh, and there was one figure. Uh, he got all the bags that had uh, sold of minifigures filled but it turned out one of them when we checked had already been in the store so we put that with itself 
you know, like we normally would, but that means we have one bag left that has not uh, gotten a figure, and I'm not going to worry about one bag. So here it is, C5, uh, Z5 C236. So at some point we'll get that filled up with another part, <clears throat> another figure rather. But I'm going to uh, relax for the evening. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's what we got going on today. And tomorrow, Sunday, I'll try to get some more stuff done. Hopefully at the very least get through all these tires and maybe even some more of the other ones. I don't think it'll be impossible. It's just tires are complicated um, because like <clears throat> right now all of these are the exact same size tire. Uh, and these are um, the 56 by 28. I think that's what it said. By 26, sorry. Uh, and so all of these are the 56 by 26 uh, tires. And these are all appropriate wheels for them uh, I've got these are all the colors that I have these three I didn't have tires on yet but I had them over here um, and then this particular wheel is actually a little different if you look at the side of it it's got like four kind of edgy things and over here it's different so this and it's narrower so it's shorter so this tire doesn't go with this wheel but uh, other colors through here do uh, if I already had uh, the wheel in the tire in the color, I just left it. I've got more. So like the light bluish gray, I've got more here. And the pearl gold, I've got more here. And then I've got a bunch of empty tires here. And so I'm just basically going to go through to see what the values are of like the wheel and tire combo for the black. And then how much the wheel is worth and how much the tire is worth. The tire will be the same for all of them because it's always the same. And then do that for each of those. I only have the one of the flat silver tire or wheel rather um so yeah it's just time consuming and again because this one's different it doesn't it's not going with that particular tire uh i've got some other ones in uh, this one's light gray also doesn't go with it because of the difference uh, i think all the rest of them are pretty much oh and then we've got these weird ones here which i think are just even older versions um, and there's several of those in the yellow. Actually, most of them are that. And I just have another one more of this style. So, yeah, that is what we got going on. We're going to break it here. And then tomorrow I'll have some more content. And I'll also get uh, the vlog up for Monday. So, uh, as always, thank you very much. Hello. It is Sunday evening. It's not terribly late. But it is Sunday evening. And after not getting much done yesterday because I was gaming... This is all the stuff that's ready to go up shortly uh, from what I was working on. Uh, tires, wheels, and actually one hubcap piece. Because uh, I found it in the listing for that particular uh, wheel that it's next to. And I said to myself, well, I know where that is because I have a little drawer right over here. Uh, and these two are different hubcaps. They've got more spokes, so I did not put those in yet. But those two or three have uh, less spokes and they go with those three wheels. Uh, so yeah, we got that stuff all ready to go. There's like closing in on 600 items in the file. Uh, I'm not sure how much it's worth because I haven't priced everything yet. But uh, yeah, this is uh, what I've been working on today. Uh, got a little tub of uh, rejects here. Not too bad, uh, but a few. And then still some stuff of that general size and... We'll get to that stuff in the next round of tires and wheels. And there's still more stuff over here because, well, I have a whole bunch of it. But I feel like I'm making good progress and I'm getting the big ones out of the way. Uh, two reasons, because they take up more room. And two, because they're probably worth more than the smaller ones, generally speaking. Uh, I know I did well with the first file. I'm assuming this file will be worth even more, but that's mainly because there's like three times as many pieces uh, more than anything else. So that is what I've got going on for tonight. I'm not going to do another update because I'm going to splice all the videos together and get them uploaded and ready to go tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a busy day. I've got an appointment, uh, taking some friends a couple of places. And so, yeah, i got a lot going on. And on top of that, Ben is coming over. So I have a feeling I'm not even going to be here when Ben gets here initially, but he can get in and uh, get started. So that is what I've got going on. And uh, as always, thank you very much. The last time I checked, it was like, 
956 subscribers or something like that. So I was just like, I keep getting impressed that I keep picking up a few. Uh, it's been a while since I've gotten two or three, you know, every couple of days. So it's really nice to see. Uh, and uh, we do have the contest going on. I'm going to try to get an update video on that on Wednesday. So you're seeing this on Monday if you're watching it when it first comes out. And so in a couple of days, hopefully we'll have that video out. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you in the next vlog.